How do you perform at your best? How do you get in the zone, whether you're playing a sports, giving a speech, uh, even taking a test or, or any activity in daily life? Hi, this is Philip Mountrose, the Holistic Dr. Phil, as I'm known on Twitter, and co-founder of Awakenings Institute with my wonderful wife and partner, Jane Mountrose. And today we're talking about how to relieve anxiety related to performance, how to improve your performance. Uh, and EFT is, is a great tool to do that. So uh, top performers uh, are able to concentrate and focus. And when you're performing at your best, you do the same. What gets in your way? What gets in people's way? Well, distraction, nervousness, anxiety. Uh, I'm a tennis player, and uh, for a while there I was having a problem, and one of my colleagues said, Philip, you're, you're sort of backing up and not following through when you hit the ball. And I took that to heart and did some EFT tapping technique, uh, which I'm going to go into in just a moment here. And I realized my performance improved, my confidence, my calmness, and I was much improved. So this is where EFT can come into the rescue uh, to improve yourself. And EFT has been used by thousands of people all around the world. The results have been very impressive. And that's why I want to share with you this energy healing tool which rebalances the body system by tapping on some, some pressure points and saying affirmations. So to give you an example, um, you might say even though I have this challenging match and you do it, you start with tapping a point or rubbing a pressure point, even though I have this challenging match or a difficult opponent, I can still love and accept myself and do well. And another one, uh, even though uh, I, um, I'm, I'm worried about this speech that I'm going to give, I know I can do okay and I'll do my best. Uh, another example might be, um, uh, even though uh, I'm not sure what to do in this situation and it's very important for me to do well and, and sing well or, or act well or whatever the performance is, um, I still know I'll come through and I have the resources to do very well. And then you do some EFT tapping on it. So uh, another part of performance where we really suffer is we compare ourselves to other people. Hey, that person's great. I'm not nearly as good a speaker as that person or as good a tennis player uh, or as good a writer or as good as a performer, whatever it is, test taker. And now that's, uh, that's kind of uh, getting us off in, in a negative place. We want to be inspired by others, not compare ourselves. So again, use EFT with saying, um, even though I'm not as good as so-and-so, um, I can still do my best and give my personal best, and I'm sure it will work out okay. Uh, and you may want to also visualize, see the outcome, see the results, see, see you hitting the ball really well, giving a great speech, taking the test, and acing it. And as you visualize that outcome, uh, fears and nervousness and anxiety might well come up, and that's when you start doing the affirmations and the tapping, you know, even though I'm worried uh, uh, that this may not happen, even though it doesn't seem like it's working, whatever, but keep the visualization. If you can't visualize, just sense it, uh, the outcome that you want coming, and you can do the tapping to relieve the nervousness and anxiety, and eventually you'll be able to see or sense it better, and uh, the, the negati negativity will be removed and you'll feel much more calm, balanced, and successful. So those are some ideas for EFT, uh, overcoming peak performance anxiety. Uh, use it regularly. You'll be amazed at the results. And this is Philip Mountrose, the Holistic Dr. Phil on Twitter, wishing you well. And there is a follow-up link if you'd like to get more information on this subject about EFT, peak performance, and other related areas with EFT. Uh, just follow the link. And this is Philip Montrose again to the heart and soul of your success.